Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Creeper World 4. That is right, we are back heading into the colonies for another first person shooter map. That is right, we are going into FPS 2. Okay, FPS 2, we've done 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Let's see how number 2 is. Uh, I have not even loaded this one up, so I have no idea what we're getting in for. I'm assuming it's not going to have an upgrade system, because that did come later. But let's see what happens. Uh, okay, so here we go. Uh, well, the AI has, controlled, uh, has control of all building operations here. You'll have to clear the ground so that it can build. But it should do a decent job of holding its own. It better. It better game. Or Ada, I should say. Uh, if you get stuck, clear the ground until you find cannon spawners and defend them until they get up. Also worth noting that the top uh, top of most hills are where the AI places mortars. Of course, I read that in a different order. I apologize. All building positions are fixed. This time, we're dropping an energy crate uh, to make the landing a little smoother. It looks like uh, there's a Thor on top of a plateau. Oh, my. If you can get your supply line over there, it would be really help out in our fight. I mean, it's a Thor. I mean, how can it not? Of course. Also, I don't see uh, any upgrade caches this time, so we'll try something a little different. Uh, excess energy goes to our suit. Fantastic. The Thor has infinite ammo and follows us around. Okay, we're getting the Thor. Done. That's... Pff, oh, oh my gosh. Sprayers now effectively go into always-on mode after they're built, uh, which is fantastic. So I guess in the first one, they don't do that, which is good to see. Let's see what we got here. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're heading there. Uh, that's what we want. Uh, this is clearly a wall in the center. This is our crossover point to probably the more dangerous area. I mean, if we take a look-see, uh, there is an emitter there of 75. Uh, there's an emitter right here of 20. So you can see the difference in power levels. 50, 50, that one's 75. So that's, uh, I guess, the final emitter, uh, so to speak, uh, that we will be fighting. Uh, how are we on other emitters? You are at 35. Yeah, these are definitely weaker. So it looks like we are coming out this way and down, as this is 20, 25, 35. Uh, I'm guessing you're 40. Oh, no, you're 30. Interesting. So this emitter is stronger than this emitter. So technically speaking, it would be come this way bounce down here come over here because again excess energy does go into our suit so energy is very important uh it does look like there is some anti uh creeper generation back here so we will want to snag that as well but let's get into it uh please uh please sir let me let me in well that was weird uh whoa no Okay, there we go. Holy moly. That was a start. Uh, that was 20 seconds of bad. Why why do you keep doing this when I hit one? This is so annoying. When I hit one to change my gun, it brings up the, the build of Thor. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, that is a thing. That is happening. So I can't hit one to go to my gun. I mean, we do have mouse wheel. I just don't like the mouse wheel method. I like to hit one, two, three, four. Uh, four, no fabricator, uh, just so we are aware. Uh, yeah. Oh, God, that's annoying. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, God, we're so weak. Oh. oh, we're so weak. I can't wait till we get some glorious energy. And let's find a cannon. There is a cannon. We will defend it with our valiant life. We'll even put down some anti-creeper to defend it. And then I'm going to try and place down a Thor, which will not work, of course. And yeah, that anti-creeper better defend it as I look for another cannon to valiantly defend uh, very, very quickly, of course. Now, it does say it will send excess energy. Hey, it did survive. Uh, I am curious if that means anything above a deficit. So, like, say we were to build a bunch of stuff and it goes into a deficit. Does that lower our energy because it doesn't have as much excess? Or is it just based off the total generation that we have? My guess is it's based off of the total generation and it's not best based off of a deficit or anything like that. Uh, but it's just something, you know, to think about. 
Uh, but yeah, here we go. It, another first-person shooter map. Uh, it has a slight problem, as you can see, when I hit one, it does bring up the Thor. So you will see that quite a bit. But we are on top of a hill right now, and as they said, when things are on top of hills, it goes better for everybody. So let's make sure we hold this. This is the area that we want to hold. We want to get all of these cannons up. Once we hold this, we get our emitter. Uh, may be able to take this. I don't think we'd be able to hold it. Unfortunate. Oh my gosh. Even after I say it, it's still just, like, annoyingly frustrating. <laughs> it's, like, just annoying enough. Uh, are there no cannons next to this to hold it? Well, I mean, of course I should do that first. Uh, not that. I'm sure if I go to, like, the pause menu and somehow change out of the air section... Uh, that would help, but, you know, sometimes you just deal with the challenges that you're given. Uh, and this is very clearly a challenge that I have given myself. And I don't know why I didn't go for the emitter. Uh, I kind of felt like this was just here, and this is kind of going for an emitter, because it's going to hold this, and there's a, another high ground. And as we know, high ground is the good ground, so, yeah, I want to get high without a doubt. Here we go. Cleanse it off. I don't know if we have any greener. Again, we can't see our factory, so we don't know what we're producing. Uh, I don't believe I took any greener mothers, but at the same time, I also don't really remember what the starter area had either. Uh, let's start to sort of encompass this in anti-creep. Uh, did not get to that one spot, but in my circling. I'm just hoping to circle enough that the cannons will catch up. Uh, again, there we have it. Uh, and, yeah. Oh, look at that. It's been nullified. <laughs> just by taking the hills, we have even nullified things. That, ooh. Really? These cannons are not enough to hold this? That is impressive, impressive. Uh, let's see if we can get a couple more, maybe? Look at that, every time, every time. Just, okay, there's a cannon. Let's get that one. They apparently need just like a couple more cannons. Please, cannon, please save them. Do your best. All right. And now the goal is to cut off by going to the edge. Oh, we, again, want to hold walls, want to hold edges, want to hold high ground. And what's nice is by taking this and going straight to the edge, all of this is mostly cut off uh, from this side at least. And, and again, there is, there's the big emitter for this area. So if we can take that, we can actually go straight for the Thor. And I think that's what I want to do. Uh, let's make sure we get this cannon up. There we go. There we go. We're feeling it. Feeling pretty good. Just want to get to the wall. Get to the wall, indeed. Please, please, please. Okay, good. Cannon's up. Getting another cannon. Now, we will get this cannon. It will be mine. Oh, yes. It will be mine. Uh, I was planning on going to that over there uh, and stopping it. But then I realized we're so close to the Thor. I mean, I, I think... It, we have other priorities, uh, and those priorities are massive amounts of murder that we don't even need to do anything for. So yeah, I'm I'm feeling pretty okay with that priority. Let's. There we go. There we go. That's what you want to see. Oh, there it is. That's the connection we needed. I don't even care about this emitter. I don't even care. I just wanted energy up there. That's all I wanted. That's all I truly wanted. Um, where's the nullifier? That's what we're playing. The big game of where's the nullifier? It's over there. Uh, you know? And by finding the nullifier, we have... Ooh, oh, it was almost built! You're not that big of an emitter. You shouldn't have destroyed it. Get out of here. Of course. I, I honestly don't want to swap because I really hate swapping back. So I'm trying even harder than usual to not swap. 
Uh, if I had a fabricator, I'd be swapping significantly more. Again, I love the fabricator. If you do not know, we don't have access to any fabrication. Uh, I would have definitely been using that substantially more uh, because it is the best. Fabrication is the best. But, you know, I think we're doing pretty okay. We'll, we'll clean this off. There we go. We're going to have our nice little line of defense here. And this one already feels like it's going pretty quick compared to the last one or two. Uh, we've taken that. Actually, let's make sure this line gets built. Because I do want to still do that northern side. <gasps> oh no. Is that it? Is that our super friend? Oh no, it's done. <sighs> it almost feels like cheating already. I mean, look at that. I mean, I'm not going to say no. That's all that matters is I'm not going to say no. Uh, we're going to go straight to the shield. We actually need some mortar action. Uh, the goal is to get to the wall. So while I'm going straight to the shield, I also want to cut it off to the wall. And that will be our big money because we can cleanse everything else. Build to the wall. And we can even take out this emitter here, which is fantastic. Uh, we don't want every anything on the other side, though, uh, anything over there, to make it to this emitter. We want it to be this emitter by itself, uh, because then, then it's really not that much. Uh, so, yeah, here we go. Oh my gosh, it's such destruction. It really is like cheating. I feel like I should almost do this map again, but not get that. Because I'm sure you can. You know, like... Is, is that something that I should do? How, uh, leave it in the comments if you would like to see this map again. But we uh, actively avoid that for as long as actively possible. You know, we can probably avoid it for most, if not all, of the map by just clearing this right side and then going. And that will actually make the map significantly harder, because pow uh, our, our gun is based off of power. Um, so if we don't take, like, a section of the map, our power will be substantially lower. So, you know, let me know what you think. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear about it. Uh, it I really do appreciate it. I'm going to toss in right now. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll still say that at the end. Don't worry. You won't have to miss it twice. But yes, I do appreciate it. I am trying to get to, uh, you know, certain numbers and things like that just because I do like this as a nice little hobby. Uh, but if I could upgrade my mic from it or something, that'd be amazing. Uh, I want to basically put everything, I, if I were to ever somehow make anything from this, into this, the hobby itself, you know? Not looking to become super famous. Uh, I don't think I can handle that, honestly. That'd be, that'd be oof, too much, too much. But just enough that I could you know, get a new mic, something like that. Uh, I am looking to branch out as well, you know, get new games, put, uh, put anything that I would make into that. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is quite a lot of creep. Although, as you can see, our mortar is doing good work. Uh, the, our airship is doing very good work as well. The mortar is doing enough work, though. So, I still think we could do it without the airship. But, eh, I'm not going to complain. Oh, look at that. That is not what you want to see. All crimson. But we do have the anti-creep gun just to melt it all away. Not too bad. Again, stick into the wall. Always the most important part is stick to your walls, people. Stick to your walls. Use any advantage that you have. Uh, because walls, again, creep can't come from the walls. So... I'm feeling like the power that we've gained so far is actually pretty substantial. I mean, the amount of creep that anti-creep that we're generating and everything is actually pretty good so far. Uh, our cannon is doing some work, even against these deep, deep levels of creep. So, you know, compared to number four, where I think we were in the plane, I believe it was the plane one, uh, 
Yeah, I feel a lot more powerful. Quite a bit. Let's destroy all this. Get some anti creep in there, of course. Uh, I want this to, to pop, just so we can take care of it. Uh, it doesn't quite look like it wants to pop, unfortunately. But that's okay. There we have it. It has popped. Boom, boom. Oh, there you go. No more stashy action. So as you can see right here, I'm not actually going for the emitter itself. I'm trying to cut off the emitter side from the other side. Again, I'm doing this because it, I, I do believe when creep is connected, it reinforces itself at a much higher rate. So if you can cut that connection, even though there might be more creep on one side than the other, I mean, look at that. Because it's flowing and everything, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. Again, uh, leave a comment. Let me know. Because uh, to me, it really seems like it does. And I hate it. Uh, and by hate it, I mean I love it. Because it's something that I feel like I can not necessarily abuse, but use to my advantage. Where I can cut them off. And then all of a sudden, it seems easier. And I like things to seem easier. Um, where is that nullifier? Oh, the nullifier is way back there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nowhere near the emitter itself, that's what you want to see. And we'll even take the corner while it does that. Uh, let's pump it full of creep. Uh, get it. Okay, there we go. Look at that. I, I am using my mouse wheel now because I know I'm, I'm just probably pretty annoying every time I try and put down one of, uh, one of our friendly air forces. Um, but yeah. This is actually a rel really quick one. Holy moly, look at this. We are... What, 13 minutes in? Okay, okay. Uh, I mean, again, it, it does feel like we're cheating with an airship literally following us. Oh, my. No, 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 Stash. Uh, you are not allowed to do this. Mm. So things aren't holding very well. And I guess that's the problem. So where do we need to get to to hold them? Where do we need... I mean, this emitter seems like it's going to be uh, quite the thing. And I think there's only one more emitter after that, which is what's really interesting. Uh, we're almost done in terms of emission. We have access to the nullifier as well. So, our goal, I don't care if anything else gets destroyed, it is protect the nullifier. You know, maybe try and hold the line, of course. But it is protect this nullifier. You can destroy all the towers you want, you can destroy all the mortars elsewhere that you want, but this nullifier... It really needs to stay alive. Because that will just allow us to move freely. It, it is... Okay, it got through its primary phase of growth and creation. So we can actually push some of this back. By pushing some of this back, it'll allow us to hold this that much easier. Because it's not getting surrounded, which is fantastic. Uh, and yeah, we can keep pushing. I think. Methinks we have done it. Again, successfully pushed. Uh, emitter, get out of Oh, Emitter is officially out of here. Uh, we. Oh, that's right. <laughs> our, our friendly following. Uh, oh my god, he's even just shooting everything. This is a dream of mine that I always wanted the first person shooter. I wanted to be the sniper. You know, give me true first person. Let me snipe things. That'd be kind of cool. It'd be really hard to snipe skimmers. Definitely, probably pretty easy to snipe blobs, though. So, I'd be pretty okay with all of that. I mean, that stash is uh, doing its thing. Ooh. Oh, no! What? Really? <sighs> and here I was, thinking that it was actually stable. Um... But we are near another high ground, so I'm going to take this high ground before going back for that emitter, I think. So, yeah. So if we can take this, I think this will sort of be a great point to just hold. 
Uh, again, we'll be able to tackle everything from here, in essence. Alright, Spore Launcher, get out of here. We have the land. You have nothing. Again, I wish I had the Fabricator. I would fabricate the hell out of all of this. All of this would be fabricated. Oh my gosh, that eats through any uh, Crimson so well. Like, I know that's its job, but literally, even though it's its job, it still does it better than you would even expect. Um, our power is 120. I'm feeling pretty solid. Uh, I didn't even realize we were that close to the wall either. So, yeah, we're we're taking out the outer resources. And the outer resources are the single best thing to take out again. Now, we are the ones doing this around. Uh, who cares about that emitter when we can literally just say, oh, look at this, oh, oh, look at that. We've just cleaved your entire domain in half, basically. Yeah, our power is, our power is getting up there. Uh, I'm feeling pretty confident of that. I mean, even this emitter, within seconds, we've shut down the emitter and completely covered it. Once you get to this point in power, pretty much the only weapon you want to use is the sprayer, because... I mean, we can we can get through the creep substantially faster with other weapons, but this not only takes the creep, but it basically guarantees that we're gonna hold it. I mean, look at that. We just we just made a line, and I don't need to care about that. You know, I could I could care about it. Maybe I should, but I don't. You know, I'm just gonna just try and cleave everything. Oh, look at that. Oh, you've done so good, and now you're encapsulated in my white goo. Yeah, feeling, feeling real good about that. Looks like that is the totems. Fantastic. Totems achieved. Uh, how is that doing? Yeah, really, it, it couldn't stand up to the sheer volume of anti-creeper that has been uh, placed on its face. So, yeah, not much is going to stop us now. Uh, I want to get this done before 20 minutes, though. So we only have a few minutes to go. Well, a few minutes. We have less than a minute. So I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. We have one thing left to nullify. So let's get it going. I want this before 20 minutes. Please, game. Uh, I probably should be focused on it, but... Oh, that is nullified. Oh, there we go. Objective obtained. And that is all of the creep. Let us see this take off. Where are you? Where is it? It's over here. Boom! Look at that. There it goes. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Health remaining. Target. All of the things achieved. Under 20 minutes. Perfect. Oh, I'm very happy. Let's see how our time was, though. I imagine with this, our the times are going to be pretty low. So this might not be a great time. But, hey, you never know. Uh... What's official? 1929 for get everything. And you know what? Uh, right now, that's one of the two. Uh, there's an 11 minute there. But yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Pretty good indeed about that time. Let us go. And that has been first person shooter number dose. We will get to the first one in the next video, and then we're going to go to first-person shooters from other map creators. Very excited to see those as well. So thank you very much. Please like, comment, subscribe, as uh, I did say earlier, and I definitely appreciate it. Check out some of my other videos, and I will catch you next time. Have a wonderful day.